Okay, hi YouTubers. Um, this is a video just to give you an update on um, how I'm going. Put the light on. How I'm going with um, making my own products and hopefully turning that into a business. So today, this morning, had a a so-so <laughs> morning finding out things that I need to do to be legal and to be right and all above board. Um, I went to see my cousin, and she runs a company called Emmy and Ben. Big up. Um, no, really, seriously, to give her props. Um, she, yeah, she runs a company, her name's Ronki Ige, and she runs a company called Emmy and Ben, um, and she produces shea butter. And there's a link on my blog for her website, so if you go on my blog and check that out, but yeah, she's doing big things. So I went to her to find out about all the things that I need to know and all the money that it's going to cost. But in effect, when you think about when other people start businesses, what she told me really, the amount of money that I need to spend is not that much. Um, one, one of the things I need to do, numero uno, is it numero uno? What's numero uno? I don't know. But yeah, one of the main things I need to do is I need to buy trade scales which cost £200 um, and the thing is I'm not really feeling too bad about that because a lot of the times when I've got to use like 0.5 of a, of a gram or 0.02% of something it's quite hard for me to measure it on a kitchen scale so trade scales hopefully I don't know if they do work like that but I'm hoping that they do work those things out um, so I've got to get those £200, got to register my company, another £200. Um, I then have to be able to, I have to get certified by someone, I don't know, I can't remember, but that's like £150 to £200. But they will give me permission and certify and say that I can mix certain concoctions of things. So it will be legal and above board. I'm not doing this backyard style and just putting things out there to people to put in their hair and it for it to mess up because I'm not about that and I'm not going to do that um, but yeah one of my first products will be my twisted mango custard and this is me experimenting with labeling because the labeling has to be right as well and I have to contact trading standards to make sure they're, that's okay and that's my logo which I have put up on my blog if you check out my blog um, so yeah, I have to get all of this registered, I have to get the labels sorted and then that's more money to get the labels printed um, and figure out what pa what type of packaging I'm going to use. Because um, I did buy these because I like the silver lid but I don't know, I don't think it comes in 200, this is 100 so yeah, I'll have to look into that anyway. And I'm not sure if I like the, the height of it but that's, that's another story. Um, what else did she tell me about? So what I talked about, I've got to get uh, certified, I've got to get trade, um, trading, got to contact trading standards, I've got to get my trade scales, I have to sort out my labelling, marketing I think about further down the line. But yeah, that's probably the main things that I need to do. And on top of that, I'm thinking about all this money that needs to go out and then I wanted to go on holiday this year. And it's, I don't know, it's just so much things to think about, but hopefully taking small steps will gain big rewards and be unique will be a product that you will want to buy <laughs> hopefully yeah so that's it okay hopefully you'll be seeing this by the end of the year on your shelves well, not on your shelves actually i'll be selling it by the end of the year um so wish me luck guys